لا يزال الخير حيا لا يزال إن في الدنيا سلاما واضلال أخبر الأيام أنها في وصال قم بنا وانظر لآيات الجمال قم بنا وانظر لآيات الجمال كن كما غيث على الأفياء ماطر صوته يروي قلوبا وخواطر نفعه عما البوادي والحواطر قم بنا وانظر لآيات الجمال قم بنا وانظر لآيات الجمال لا يزال الخير حيا لا يزال إن في الدنيا سلاما وظلال أخبر الأيام أنها في وصال قم بنا وانظر لآيات الجمال قم بنا وانظر لآيات الجمال السلام okay. عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته everybody. Thank you everybody for joining us here today um, We are pleased to be able to welcome those of you that you know knew Hope Academy from the jump and also those that are starting off Inshallah, um, we're here to today to gather to talk about Hope Academy and all its updates and future activities, inshallah. So what we're going to first do is we're going to start off this with, uh, start off this amazing event with, um, with some of our students. Khalid and Ashraf are going to come out and read some Quran. They're going to read a Surah Abbas, okay? أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم عبس وتولى أن جاءه الأعمى وما يدريك لعله يزكى أو يذكر فتنفعه الذكرى أما من استقنى فأنت له تصطى وما عليك ألا يزكى وأما من جاءك يسعى وهو يخشى فأنت عنه تلهى We're now going to have our executive director of Hope Academy Asiya Adam just tell you guys a few words about Hope Academy inshallah Alright, come up Asiya بسم الله رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي امري واحلل عقدة من لساني يفقه قولي first say thank you all for coming um mashallah this has been uh, you know more than expected and it's so it's so amazing to see you know old faces uh, graduates of hope academy or students that i've taught that have come back and mashallah are old and older and you know out there in the world mashallah so happy to see all your faces and new faces welcome um, I wanted to share with you all that um, education is a valuable tool and an avenue that is used to lift barriers um, to our success. These past three school years have been extremely difficult and have shed light on the widening opportunity gap that divides and anchors minority students that are similar to our community. This is why Hope Academy has put a great emphasis on fixing and remediating that gap by allocating resources and having qualified teachers that are socially and racially represent our students that they serve. Our teachers and staff all work together to uplift our students and their educations and their morals. Our students embody confidence and competence. They are able to freely express their religious identities while receiving quality education from teachers that share their identities. What sets us apart is our outstanding academic, academics combined with Islamic and Quran studies. Not only are students um, performing academically and we're, uh, we are you know, having a high expectation for academic um, excellence, but we also infuse Islamic studies in their day-to-day -day activities. Salatul Dhuhr, and sometimes when the sun sets early, Salatul Asr is incorporated into the schedule so that children understand that Salat has the utmost importance and without it, life will be very, very difficult. Um, students not only memorize the Quran and Hadith, they also learn its meaning and its origin. We are lucky to have both a masjid and a school where our students have the opportunity to pray, play, learn, and grow. We are also highly privileged to have parents throughout the years that supported Hope Academy and their children while being active members of the school and the masjid. Our students bring joy to the school and we are so, so, so very proud of them. We also genuinely appreciate the community that supports us um, in the greater Seattle and King County area. 
All of you here today have contributed to Hope Academy's success and support um, throughout the years. So thank you all for coming, and I appreciate you all. All right. Okay, so now uh, we're gonna have one of our first guest speakers, inshallah. His name is Umar Hassan. Umar Hassan has been an amazing community member who has been devoted, has devoted his time in supporting the Muslim community through Muslim housing services. Lift the veil is to let you know that Hope Academy has been here for so long, but now they're adding a new program to help the youth that are thinking that they have graduated from Islamic schools. And inshallah, that's not the goal. No one has ever graduated from Islam. So we want to keep our children to be within the realm of Islam. And to do that, inshallah ta'ala, there will be programs that will help them grow and keep growing with Islam. And inshallah ta'ala, the other thing I would conclude is we want to raise husbands and wives for our upcoming generations that know how to deal with their wives and husbands, that understand Islam is the most important thing in their life. Finally, please make sure that you keep the relationship with your families and relatives. speaker inshallah. His name is Ayala Ismail. Uh, Ms. Ayala is the executive director of Bridging Cultural Gaps. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Dear respected elders, parents, students, it's an honor to be here tonight at Hope Academy's dinner invitation. As a youngster who grew up in the south and over here in Seattle in the 90s, an early 2000, I'm one of those youngsters who witnessed, you know, Sheikh Abdul Qadir and his family and the efforts that they have put in in this community for so long. And I was one of those youngsters who was inspired to follow his footsteps in terms of giving back to my community. And we gathered, please give him a hand for the family, and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala continue. And I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to continue to bless his family and the work that they're doing and everyone that's involved in making sure that Hope Academy continues in the upcoming years. The leadership of Hope Academy. Thank you everyone for coming. Today, me and my fellow classmates would like to present to you three of the many hadiths you learned here at Hope Academy by our amazing teacher, Mr. Hiba. عن أبي هريرة رضي الله عنه قال أوصاني قليلي صلى الله عليه وسلم بثلاث سيام ثلاثة أيام كل شهر وركعتي الضحى وأن أوتر قبل أن أنام. عن أبي هريرة سر أو my Qali sallallahu alayhi wa sallam advised me to do three things. Fast three days of every month, pray two rak'ah of duha, and pray one rak'ah of water before I sleep. قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم وكلمة ذيب الصدقة. The Prophet sallallahu the Prophet peace be upon him said that saying nice words is own charity. Lastly, we're going to have one of our last but not least keynote speakers, Muhammad Ali. 
Uh, not many people can say they've received an award from President Barack Obama. You guys, Muhammad Ali can. <laughs> uh, Muhammad Ali is a well-rounded public health professional. To begin with, it gives me a great pleasure to come tonight for this Hope Academy dinner and see the faces of the community and also see the progress this academy has done over the years. I am one of those people who had their hands on this institution from the beginning. And what Brother Anyale was saying, I attest to that. I am one of those testimonials what Brother Abdul Qadir and his family has done for this institution and also for the community that we call ourselves Muslim community in King County, it is unimaginable. We pray Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to reward them in this life and also the life after. So that is really something that we can count and contribute and support being part of it and also supporting in any way that we could. Wahan Garana ya brother Abdul Qadir his family Malinta in Magalada Tayimadin. Malinta was Saga, Meshu Kayimid, or Asia Haid, Somalia Kahor, the Vedidna, Hankra Malinti, a Wadan Khan, Nugusu, their Seno King County. Eo activity of Kabilabai or Runti Firfironidale, a Dirigalintale. Em Haladi Chire, Yo Duxigu Kaasa, say your home school and key or Bilabai. What Garan Caresa and Nogo Merca Megal, Ugusi Hurene or Mahaladi Chire, Skushegena, and Anum Hankra, the Melaha professional jobs, Kashakena, Ala Kulle Halo Haya Haid Initiative, Uba Naid, in Hankra, the Wahlogutar Sodo, La Supporta Grayo, Lady Regalio. Did the Dan Eo Hantiba Eo Castaba or La Samin Kerim Hankra Lugutro? Wahbarashada Omer Baka Halasida, a Kofka, a Uhorene so, or a Hadaino Cotta in Kofka Iski Uhro Aglian, Nakale, Engineer of Kamakuso, Bahokofka Wahparte, Eo Kofka and Wahbaran Skumidman Konayan. The Interdeal Way in Oshakte, one Ognaheim Hankra, the Ilmi and Nawan Waragna. Merka, Inshallah, Uhan Halaka Kuso, Kubaya. برنامج شده نوع آن کل ولو به هی هی این لطاعیره و او حدی و آد سمیسته و او حدی و قیبات کته هی حدی آدی و آدن قیب که هی نقف کل و ولال کجا اهل کجا ایا سمیه این لطاعیره تا سانه لوگو بد بعدی هدوی لعه. Okay, salam alaikum guys. I am a new face. Uh, my name is Sundas and I am going to be reading out a couple of testimonials from our former students and what they have to say about Hope Academy. So we have our first testimonial from Nedjma Usman. Um, she said, Hope Academy equipped me with the knowledge and tools I needed to succeed in my education and beyond. I met the most wonderful people, wonderful people and was surrounded by like-minded individuals. I went to Hope Academy from the third grade and stayed until I finished middle school and was was able to build a strong and loving community that stayed with me for years beyond. The curriculum was advanced and the teachers were dedicated and invested in our education. I have many fond memories of my time at Hope Academy and wish other children can have the same experience as me. May Allah bless all the teachers at Hope Academy for all they have done for the community as they continue to inspire, inspire me every day. Nejma Usman is currently a Master's of Public Health uh, candidate at the University of California, San Diego. The next person that I have is Sumaya Aiden. She said, I am very blessed that my parents chose to enroll us in Hope Academy because it shaped my life as it is today. An Islamic education during the earlier years of your life provides you a basic foundation on which you can build on later. And because the values that you have already been have already been instilled and ingrained in your way of life, it makes it that much harder to wear off when you venture into the real world. Hope Academy has also gifted me with some lifelong friends for which I'm forever grateful. Sumaya Aiden is currently a clinical researcher and nursing assistant at the Seattle Children's Hospital, and we just had her father give us a keynote speaker, so shout out to Sumaya.
have closing remarks by the founder of Hope Academy, Sheikh Abdul Qadir. Salam alaikum. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, and Salatu Salam ala Rasulullah. I'm happy to see all your good faces today, inshallah ta'ala, tonight. And this takes me back to the memory of starting Hope Academy. Actually, one of the original founders is Muhammad, Muhammad Ali, who was the one who was key speaker, in here. I remember 2004, and three, and five, and six, when we were starting this program, and how much effort we put together. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. I remember the years of 2003, 2004, 2005, when we were starting this program, how it was hard and difficult, and we were having a hard time of getting a space. We were getting a hard time really of getting qualified teachers, and we were having a hard time people to believe that we can do the difference. Alhamdulillah, with the days, and again, everything has become smoother, and we got the support of the community. Alhamdulillah, we have to be thankful to Allah. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. Muhammad was one of the greatest teachers and principals in this school. For the last 10 years, he used to be with us. We are proud of our students. They are proud to stand out and tell that they are Muslims, really, and proud with their faith. With their faith. Also, all the teaching children that we taught and who graduated from the school, most of them, they are very proud of their identity. Also, they are academically top. Also, they are having self-confidence. The, the most important thing that we like here to put into the child's life is to become proud and self-esteem. Self, self the child to feel that he is, he, is, he, is, he is capable and nobody is better than him. That is the most important thing to, to, to put into the child. So, uh, in short, to, to, to summarize, I would like to say to you, thank you very much for coming tonight. I was not ready to speak to, to uh, talk to the people due to my health situation. But I was forced to come to this stage. So I say to you, Jazakumullah Khairan. Let us work together. Let us work together, inshallah ta'ala. Jazakumullah Khairan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.